Hi, I'm Chuck, and I uh, run the operations department here at the Exploratorium, and this is the Bay Water Room. This is the heart of the heating and cooling system for the Exploratorium. When this building was being designed, one of the key features of the building is that it is over the ocean. Whether it's hot in San Francisco or cold in San Francisco, the average temperature of the ocean maintains the same, so it is a good source of this stored energy for use in the building. Most commercial facilities have either boilers in the basement or cooling towers on the roof. Our building is much more efficient because we are using the bay water through heat exchangers to help regulate temperature throughout the museum. So some of the things you see in the room from here, uh, the blue pipe would be salt water that is coming in from the tank from below. The yellow pipe is the building water, which is the, is the pH 9 rust inhibited fluid that's moving throughout the entire facility, through all the floors, all the classrooms, and all the server rooms. And since the building is really long and the sun travels across the top of the building during the day, it turns off and turns on sections of heating and cooling throughout the building. The Baywater room has uh, an intake screen that is down in the ocean, about 30 feet down. It is a large stainless like strainer that allows salt water to come into our two wells that we have. These two wells have two submersible pumps that pump uh, salt water up and into a filtration system that keeps barnacles and very small sea life from getting into the main mechanical system. Uh, it then travels through the filter and down into a holding tank where the seawater is kept until heating or cooling needs are being met. Um, it then pumps that salt water out of that tank through a UV sterilizer and then into a titanium plate heat exchanger. You put fluid on opposite sides of the titanium plates and then the salt water is on the opposite wall of those plates. So they come together, but they don't physically touch. And what you get is a temperature exchange between the two through the plate of titanium. So after the bay water has come through, the heat exchangers have done its work, it is then returned to the bay. The most amazing feature of this room is the fact that 75% of the time, this room supplies all of the cooling necessary for this entire facility and moves us closer to our net zero goals.